Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope everybody is killing it today. We are at the Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance. I had to, that was, that was very, very good French. You know it's a fancy day when I'm wearing a nice shirt. There's a lot of nice cars in the parking lot. We got the Malibu LT, we got the Accord V6, we have a Blue Cephas Lamborghini Centenario, we have the Cadillac Escalade, the Macan S. One thing I just noticed, check out this vent right here next to the headlight cluster. It's Sunday, it is Pebble Beach. There are more cars to find, so we're gonna leave this Centenario to be, maybe someday, maybe we'll see it in Maui someday. I don't know, what a car. What a car, but we gotta continue on. We've made it here to the concourse, and then I turned my shoulder, and I noticed that there is a striking group of Ferraris. However, you'll notice, well, we have a stanchion right here. So this is the best I can do, I'm sorry. That TDF, that's a Utah car. Now we can get the bird's eye view. F12 TDF, 799, SA Aperta 80, LaFerrari 499. LaFerrari Aperta, 963 horsepower, top speed 217 miles per hour, maximum torque 663 pound-feet of torque, zero to 62 miles per hour in three seconds. There's some knowledge for you, giving you guys some stats. I, I just read it off the right here. Ferrari became a company in 1947. It's 2017, do the math. It is the 70th anniversary of Ferrari, and so there's a whole area dedicated to Ferraris. 275 GTB, we have a 250 Luso, 275 Nart Spider, 275 GTB, and then over on this quadrant, we have some unicorns. We have a black Ferrari F50. There's four, four black F50s in the world. These are the ultimate modern day Ferrari unicorns, the F60 America, and the Sergio. Like, there's 10 of those, there's six of those. Never, we're never gonna see this car ever again. There's only six of them worldwide. Stars and stripes right there. So these cars were only sold to North American clients. You can see the one of 10 badge. We have the TDF, and then we have the one-off. We have a one-off Ferrari, the only one in the world. SP275. RW. This is based off of an F12 Berlinetta. The Ferrari has a lot of their one-off cars, and some of them, uh, some of them are kind of shaky. But I think this one, they really, really did a great job. It reminds me of a modern-day 275 GTB. I will never, ever lie to you guys. I found it. I found it. The pink 720s, the white interior, the first MSO 720. I gotta be honest. I wouldn't wear my blue jeans in this, but I would totally rock it. That color is sensational. Volkswagen, build this. Don't even hesitate, just do it. Just do it. Could you imagine hitting up the surf in Maui with this in your Centenario? Every year at Pebble Beach, there's that one car, that one car that makes me stick around the entire night just waiting to get the startup clip, and I'm gonna do it for you guys. I got you, I'm hooking you up. But here it is, here it is, the new Pagani Zonda. This is Horacio Pagani's personal car, celebrating his 60th birthday. Note that the floating roof scoop, that is the highest point on the entire car. Look at that low slung front windshield. That is absurd. Quite the pair. That is spectacular. Sorry right, guys, I'm gonna hook you up. I'm gonna hook you up. I'll stick around all night, whatever it takes to catch that car starting up and driving. That's not a bad second car to film as well. I don't have access, but there's the Helby. I told you it was coming here. There it is. Another old classic Bugatti in the exact same color scheme. We've arrived here to the AMG 10 because apparently there's a CLK GTR. away just dumped here in a back corner of the AMG booth that is pretty wicked I'd like to give a massive shout out to Mercedes-Benz as you know it's very important to stay hydrated CLK GTR cheers to them I promised you guys I promised you we're getting this startup no, I, I really did promise him. It's a true story.
goodness gracious, I'm so out of shape. How's it going? Oh. So in our haste chasing the HP, the Mercedes cab, it landed. This I'm marrying up the right now. That is insane. Look at the interior on this thing. What? Goodness gracious. Mercedes, Mercedes. Actually, Rolls Royce drophead coupe owners, you're done for if Mercedes builds this. That's the most exquisite. I think that's the right word, exquisite. Most exquisite thing I've ever seen. These are 24 inch wheels. 24 inch wheels, not bad, not bad. That thing is insane looking. The oh, yeah. ultimate Corella DeVille car. Little bit that way, a little more. Straight. A little more that way, Jordan. A little bit. I just went into a creep mode. Why? Check out the interior on this car. It's a manual transmission. The HP Barquetta 1D3. There's only gonna be three of these built worldwide. We got the floating roof scoop. Wow, what an opportunity this is to see this car right here. The HP Barquetta. Goodness. That is unbelievable. I love that, that low front windshield. Goodness gracious. I've heard the rumors of 15 million dollars. That's around three million more than the swept tail. I don't know how, how true those rumors are, but that's what I've been hearing. That's so, so cool. Wow. You got the wire BC seats right there. So we scrapped the HP because the food vlog, guys, the food vlog is back in full force. I'm gonna go healthy. <laughs> One of these thrones, and I'm gonna have myself a food vlog. The HP is right over there, and the food vlog is right here. Gordon, thank you so much. No problem. You guys know Gordon, follow his channel. He's a hero, and he's getting kicked out. Thank you so much, Gordon. F spot, follow him. So a Bugatti, a current Bugatti owner was telling me that on the Chiron, if you want black wheels, it's an $80,000 option. That's why we haven't really seen any with black wheels. I just realized the front end lift is up. Come on, Pagani. This was gonna be the bumble shop. This was gonna be the bumble shop that shut it down. But the lift is up. The ladies are gonna notice that. They're not gonna like it. This is supposedly the last Zonda ever to be built. But we've heard that. The Cinque was supposed to be the last one. The Tri Calori was supposed to be the last one. There's all the 760s. This is supposedly the last one. Barquette is not built for a tall man. Nope, <laughs> You're gonna get all. a bunch of bugs in your face. <laughs> What do you guys think? 
Do you dig it or not? It's odd, it's an odd car for sure. There's a ton of different rumors floating around about this car. I've heard prices approaching 15 plus million. I've also heard that it's insured for seven million. I don't really know. Monterey Car Week is officially over. Now, logistically, there's still one more vlog coming after this, but I really need to get that Zonda HP posted because today was the worldwide unveiling, but Car Week is officially over for myself. I'm driving back to Utah tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.